Hi everyone, it's Four Corners, and welcome to a review on episode 3 and 4 of Ninjago Crystallized. As usual, we go over plot, pros, cons, and then finally, a rating out of 4. So the simplified plot is the ninja are trying to crack down on this Vengestone mystery, but they're all pretty uncoordinated because it's been a whole year and everybody's very sad about Nia. And as they're kind of cracking this Vengestone mystery, the new ninja team comes back and they steal the ninja's thunder. And these guys don't get along completely. This irritation leads to even more conflict than there already was in the ninja group which kind of leads to Kai and Jay actually fighting for a bit and then Nia ends up showing up which settles everyone down. In order to bring Nia back for good they have to disconnect Nia from her elemental powers which only Esfera can do with her scepter. But the mayor doesn't allow this because he's already not a huge fan of the ninja which leads to the whole episode 4 plot being the ninja trying to break into places. So for pros, a lot of these mainly go to episode 3 titled The Shape of Nia. First of all, Kai actually gets his old character back where he actually gets angry about stuff. Recently he's just been played off for comedy but in this one him and Jay actually get very very heated and he's constantly getting irritated about Jay not being on top of things which makes sense for Kai as a character. It's just that we haven't seen that in a long time. Also the action is again really good. I feel like I'm gonna say that with all of these episodes but they've done these extremely well. The sound design of the new ninja weapons, those sound epic. Visually everything in the season is beautiful to see. Even the stuff that's not meant to be beautiful like a computer screen. Everything just looks so perfect in the season. I think this is my favorite animation for Ninjago. Every character gets a good amount of focus and I think a lot of that has to do with there only being five ninja instead of six now. The whole five ninja team works so much better because no ninja feels left out or undeveloped. Next we go to cons which actually this time I have some but mainly for episode 4. So for the most part episode 4 is pretty enjoyable. It's not the best episode but it's also pretty good for the content it has to offer which is the ninja breaking into places. But I do feel like some of the mistakes the ninja made were a little too silly like Jay and Cole forgetting the password to the elevator. Like why couldn't they just write it down somewhere instead of forgetting something so important to the mission as well as the screwdriver laser thing that Zane had, it just got whipped out and broke the whole jail cell. Some of that was a little too silly and if these are the reasons why the plot actually ends up happening in the next few episodes then I won't be too happy with it. Because the ninja no matter how uncoordinated they are I feel like they'd never be making silly mistakes like that so I wish they had other reasons for the mission failing than these comedy reasons. I feel like if the comedy aspect wasn't here this episode would be a lot better than it is right now. Nonetheless, these episodes were still very enjoyable to watch, especially episode 3. So I'm, I'm gonna give these a 3.5 out of 4 because episode 3, The Shape of Nia, that was a definite 4 out of 4 for me. And then episode 4, A Mayor Problem, that was more of a 3 out of 4 or even a 2.8 out of 4 for me. So averaging that out, we're gonna get 3.5 out of 4. Thank you for watching this review on episode 3 and 4 of Ninjago Crystallized. Comment down below which was your favorite part in these episodes. Mine was definitely when Kai accidentally knocked over the glasses of water and he got irritated with Jay. That was really powerful to watch. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye